so important to get like a strong foundation freshman year. Like have fun, but uh, you want to start off with a good GPA. Definitely go to your classes, do your homework, study, but get out, have fun, go to the mountains, go to the lake, go to the concerts, go to Church Street. For me, it was really easy to get used to. Just like the people around you are nice, and just be outgoing and nice, and people will love you. <laughs> Don't be afraid to say hi. It'll be well received. We Definitely. Say hi to everyone. Yeah. <laughs> Not know. Keep your door open the whole entire time. Get out of your room. Walk around campus. Introduce yourself. I'm Gabby Harvey. I'm from Medfield, Massachusetts. I'm Lindsay McCary. I'm from West Hartford, Connecticut. I'm Chandler Myers. I'm from. <laughs> Atlanta, Georgia. <laughs> My name is Monica and I'm from Washington, D.C. As I'm North Carolina. Williamstown, Vermont. London, England. Uh, I've made all my friends by uh, just coming to the gym, always playing pickup basketball. I mean, my mom told me, like, Emily, you just have to stick it out. You're going to love it. You're going to find your people. My roommate for semester, first year, is still my best friend and still who I live with. Find something that interests you, that you can develop a passion for, pursue it with other people. There's Arrow, it's an alternative energy racing organization. Pre-vet or pre-med clubs. There's also the grandma club where you can like sew and do fun stuff like that. We have a huge club, it's one of the biggest clubs on campus called Volunteers in Action. There's like 15 clubs branched out of that that's all volunteer work. Our motto is ending one number one grilled cheese at a time. So this is a 250cc, 36 horsepower, high performance motocross engine. It features a sequential five-speed transmission. I'm the layout editor for the Cynic, so I oversee basically how everything goes into the paper. The outing club, skin snowboard club, those are completely key. Just, I mean, Vermont's so beautiful. My advisor's great. Like, he knows which professors I need to talk to. He'll tell me which professors to take classes with. You just got to be prepared to have your nose in the box, and it's really worth your time. It's really just just be disciplined, you know, you've got to do some work for each class every day. Don't be closed-minded to change. Don't worry about if you start as one major and if you change your mind because you have a lot of flexibility. They're committed to things like the environment or social justice or, you know, everybody finds a niche and does something in addition to academics. We're taking uh, information that was recorded by a satellite, We're assigning color value to the data so that it can be analyzed by geographers. You just take your time and go step by step. I wouldn't be afraid to uh, go up and try to establish like a one-on-one -on -one relationship with your professors. Just get a feel for what they're expecting. Yeah, because the Kashmir is divided. I've become very close to my advisor as well as a few professors in my program, like Salim Ali, Stephanie Kaza, Thomas Hudspeth and I can go to them for different needs. My advisor now, I had second semester last year, and she was my philosophy professor. That's when I got really interested in philosophy. Be open, you might not be an open person, but college is where you can um, kind of come out of your shell. Part of what happens at college is that you discover who you really are. It takes time, but once you find the people that you really connect with, and once teachers spark something in your head, you just, you're just able to just take off. 